And uh, I think it's everything is okay. Good morning, everyone. Woke up like this. Look, and um, today we're gonna be talking about oh, what do you call this? Um, the art of selling happy. And tinuturo ko po ito sa seminar. I'm gonna teach you this. I'm gonna explain to you how it is an advantage. How does it help you? How does selling half, selling just half, uh, help you in your trading? Bakit ko sinasabi lagi sa daily grind na uh, sell half? Um, I'm picking up so much uh, ngayon sa ano sa group. Yung mga newbies, alam na nila ba, dapat sell half ang ginagawa nila. So, I'm gonna explain it to you guys. How does selling half help you? And so, and why is it an advantage better than just selling it all? And so we're gonna be discussing about that today. So before that, uh, we're gonna be talking about um, your comments. Meron kayong mga requests for charting. Yan po unahin natin today. So good morning everyone. Good morning to my daughter Laika. And um, if you're just watching the replay of the video, please move forward to around 25 minutes ng video para dun kayo diretso sa discussion because we're gonna start at around 8.40 in the morning for the main discussion natin ngayon again, the topic is about the art, the art of selling half in trading also, we're gonna be discussing about the picks that I have today I have a few 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 eight. I have eight stocks na nakikita na maganda right, so I'm gonna put this on the comments yan, tingnan nyo po yung mga recommendations ko ngayon Uh, we're gonna be talking about the charts niyan later. Bakit ko sila ni-recommend? At least may, may matutunan po kayo. Bakit ko, ha, paano ko ito na mga, nakukuha, mga nire-reco ko. Right. Joel Garis, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika Hops. Good morning Sir Lloyd. Maganda movement ng foreign market. Mukhang green si PSEI today. Yes, we were expecting the bounce na, di ba? Di ba sabi sa inyo, tuloy-tuloy na. I mean, hindi naman sa tuloy-tuloy. Right. Um, PSEI, we were expecting for it to bounce the previous day. And then yesterday, nagtuloy yung bounce niya. Yun yung gusto kong sabihin. So, I'm positive, kind of past positive na magtuloy-tuloy po yung bounce to PSEI. We're just bounced at MA20 of PSEI, which is very good. Yan. We are, yan, confirmation na of an uptrend yung bounces ni PSEI. So, we're in a bullish market. So, I hope na kapag average down na po kayo sa mga stocks ninyo, especially sa mga blue chips ninyo, 
mga investor stocks ninyo dyan. Arjel Mendoza, good morning sir. Let me just double check my audio. Direct sa discussion. Yeah, work. It's okay. Yan. Um Arjel Mendoza, good morning sir Lloyd. Like like ISM po. Thanks. Let's check out ISM. Si ISM bumagsak kahapon eh. So, yan yung sinabi ko sa inyo kahapon. I will not recommend it yesterday. Wag niyo na pong hahabulin kasi we're expecting a pullback anytime soon kasi mataas na po 'yon. And ayun na nga, nag-pullback, 'di ba? Laki ng pullback kahapon. We're gonna be talking about the chart of ISM. In a while, right? Usapan natin yan. Hindi mawala-wala sa ano natin yan, si ISM, right? Pero, yun lang, re- recommendation ko talaga is for ISM, just uh, keep buying on the dips, right? Um, okay lang naman siya. Um, para ito si ATN dati, rap- topic of the day, lagi si ATN noon, di ba? So, bumabagsak na si ATN. Ayun, um, we're seeing, uh, we're seeing uh, ISM stabilize. But don't worry, aakit din yan. Parang si ATN din. Si ATN nga, umaakit na nga yan, di ba? Um, Argel Mendoza um, M. Seno, good morning po Or po sir Ayan, si Or nagpo-pull back pa Let's see if nag-bounce na ba si Or Hindi ko pa nire-reco si Or I'm gonna reco Or again Once I see a bounce um, I think wala pang bounce eh, Kaya hindi ko pa nare-reco today Dave Gapo, daddy Snowy morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika Into my wife watching from South Korea God bless po sir May parang Korean novela kayo dyan eh. Yung parang umuusok pa yung uh, Yung hininga ba? Diba? <laughs> Hops Sir, kahapon nga breaking ni IRC, ano po tingin nyo impact nito sa current price? Um, actually, hops, uh, si IRC kasi, it has already eaten up its speculative growth, right? Um, eto eh, alright, I'm gonna show you the chart of, don't expect so much growth kay, uh, kay ISM, I mean kay IRC na mabilis tulad nung dati. Because at this right here, This is already its speculative growth. Ito yung speculative growth ni IRC. Diba? Choo-choo train. Dito pa yan. Noon. Right? It has already taken up its speculative growth. So, andun na siya sa growth niya na normal na. So, ngayon, um, IRC kahit na nag-groundbreaking kapon, hindi, hindi na ganun kalakihan ng glow. Kasi, bullish na market. Marami ng paglalagyan ng mga tao ng pera nila. Pag ganito kasi bullish market, Uh, ang bearish noong bearish market yung speculatives ang mga, mga umaangat kasi doon linalagay ng mga tao ang pera nila ngayon na bullish na ang market konti lang naglalagay sa mga speculative stocks because lalagay nila sa blue chips nila so here IRC dito yung speculative growth niya from this point to this point right And then, it has already taken that up. Ngayon na, um, andyan yun officially, uh, we're expecting na mag-uptrend siya but we're not expecting for it to grow that fast compared to this growth right here. Kasi this was the speculation period. Mas mataas talaga ang growth during the speculation. Usually, um, ang nangyayari, sell on news na nga eh, di ba? So, right now, we're seeing that um, maganda naman yung price action ni IRC, right? Um, we just can't expect for it to really grow as fast as this one uh, like it's speculative growth. So, yun. Huwag, na, huwag, huwag tayong umasa na lilipad yan si IRC kaagad, right? Um, pero uptrend naman siya pataas naman yung pataas naman yung price action niya so nga lang we have lower highs din here naman eh. so that's something we should be concerned about also it's a mix of uptrend and a downtrend eh. so yeah we have this resistance right here na pababa din so that's something we should be looking at also kaya as much as possible dito po kayo sa baba pumasok or if hindi kayo makapasok pa antayin nyo po muna mag break out at least there you, you have a good base para manit ang risk ninyo Um, so that's for it. Uh, that's uh, for IRC hops. Nanette Mill, good morning, Sir Lloyd. God bless to uh, God bless you po. God bless you too, Nanette. Tyron Javier, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ano Sir nang nangyari kay ISM? Bakit bigla na pullback? Pasuyo din ng SM fan IRC. Uh, Tyron, pullbacks are normal, right? Um, we don't ex- we really don't expect for stock to continually just go green, green, green. Hindi po ganyan ang stock market, right? So pullbacks are there, right? So just A recommendation ko lang talaga kay ISM, buy on the dips. And now it's dipping again, so buy again, right? So just keep buying on the dips. Tuwing nagdi-dip siya. Huwag po kayong mag-all in kaagad kasi so para may buy may buy more kayo. And investing po ang recommendation ko kay ISM. So as much as possible, every swell doon niyo, magdagdag kayo ng pera sa buying power niyo. You keep buying ISM kung nagdi-dip man siya. Right? So at least makapagbodega po kayo. Right? Nga pala guys, paki-share po yung video. Just a little request from me. I hope you've earned this. Please share the video. Paki-share po yung video sa Facebook walls ninyo and your trading groups para at least um, yung mga newbies na nagsisimula pa lang sa stock market, they will know about this program 
um, that will help them in their stock market journey, especially in trading. Right? And it, uh, Tyrone, pasuyo din po ng SM, FEN, and IRC. We talked about IRC already. Uh, antayin lang natin yung breakout ni IRC or get in the support as much as, uh, uh, near the support as much as you can. Salamat sir, more power to the Daily Grind and the Billionaires Club. Thank you so much, Tyrone. Thing. Uh, Kassel, John Visaya, good morning Sir Lloyd. Tanong ko lang po about CLI and SCC. CLI and SCC, okay po kaya uh, okay, okay po kaya ang fundamentals ni CLI. CLI has very good fundamentals. That's why I've been recommending CLI. Magbudega po kayo ng CLI. Kasi, uh, not just that, its earnings are very good. Look at the earnings of CLI. Alright, CLI, let me zoom in. Alright, CLI, ayan. Um, I think we can zoom in the numbers para mas malaki. And CLI, third quarter, plus the positive 29%. Um, it's been, it, they've been giving us a solid number. Second quarter, plus plus 57%. Uh, first quarter, nila natin makita kasi kakaano pa lang nila. Hindi pa makompare. But yeah, it's been giving us solid numbers. And their uh, report is very good. Ang ganda ng mga projects nila dito sa Cebu. Right? I'm seeing their projects here and there. Hindi lang dito sa Cebu. If they position themselves, they've niche to Visayas and Mindanao sa mga projects nila. Very good projects. They've positioned themselves well for the federalism. If ever matuloy man federalism, federalism. Ang ganda po na position ng CLI already. Ang ganda ng niche nila. So yeah, uh, fundamentals of CLI is very good. Um, SEC, we'll talk more about that in a bit. Uh, Kellens Dagger, uh, good morning, sir and like ha. SPC, thanks. Let's write down SPC. Tingnan natin si SPC in a bit. Amancio Akas, good morning, sir. Good morning then Arthur Kiski Sol uh, Good morning Pagbati sa wife ko na si Cherry bun and Bunso si Art Life Ayan, good morning sa inyo uh, Arthur, Cherry and Art Life A blessed Thursday trading Ayan, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika Sir, recommendation nyo po about ISM and Tugo Salamat po, let's get rich together ISM, just keep buying on the dips Antayin nyo po yung um, bounce ni ISM Then buy Alright, and as much as possible doon sa support Ang ganda po ng support ni ISM Talk more about that Si Tugo, nangihinayang ako eh been talking to my friend uh, about Tugo two weeks ago because andun siya andun siya nagtatrabaho sa Tugo I just don't wanna mention his name andun siya nagtatrabaho sa Tugo I saw the technical analysis of Tugo right so I asked him if safe ba itong i-recommend because dito I saw Tugo here this one right here ito right um, I was looking at Tugo why RSI right? yung lesson natin about RSI look at this right here dalawang signal to eh pababa dito sorry um, let me just uh, go trend line dito pababa ang presyo support is going down right there pababa siya but RSI at this point is already starting to pick up right Nag sideways na pa, medyo pataas na ang RSI. So this was a good signal already. Nag-climb siya ng ganito tapos bumalik ulit sa support. So while the support is there, um sideways ang support, RSI was going up. Dalawang beses ito nag divergence uh, si to go. Another signal was right here. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. I hope you've seen this before. Yan. It's a it's an ascending triangle at the bottom part. So, those are very many buy signals. So, I ask him, what do you think about to go? Pwede ba natin pasukin? Alright, shout out sa kaibigan ko. Uh, pwede ba natin pasukin? He said, he's still shaky about the development. So, it was safe for me to say na hindi ko muna i-recommend si to go. Sus, kung pinasok ko lang yun. Ang daming buy signal. This is, ito yung isa sa mga pinanghinayan ko ngayon. Sus, kung pinasok ko lang ito. Ang dami kong buy signal dito. We have a higher low even here. Dapat uptrend nito eh. Diba? This is an uptrend signal right here. Sus, ang dami nating buy signals. 1, 2, 3, breakout, 4, higher low. Ah, hi. Hindi ko pinansin. <laughs> Meron pang another breakout, pang apat, to con just to confirm this yesterday. There, breakout sa resistance niya. Hindi ko pa rin pinasok. So, that was my miss. Um, but anyways, yun. Um, this is, ito uh, eti, naman yung ano, gusto ko sabihin sa inyo. Even if the fundamentals of a company is shaky, trade what you see. Diba? So, it's not always right naman ang bias ninyo. Right? So, kahit na it's two goals when showing us negative numbers. Look at the numbers of two go Negative 58%. 
negative uh, plus plus one nine two sa first quarter negative one eight nine percent on the third uh, annual report so grabe grabe negative ni to go diba? so kahit ang fundamentals niya shaky if the chart is telling you that it's going bullish then you should believe the chart still diba? but these are companies that you don't really hold on for long term right because these are trading stocks lang naman so yeah ang dami nating buy signal dito nag cross cross na ang dami ng buy signal isa dito sideways divergence uh, breakout dito height uptrend dito breakout again dito so dapat pinasok natin yan pero hindi ko pa rin pinansin <laughs> eh, hindi naman ako nag trade kahapon kasi so y- it, isa rin yun so I really didn't I really wasn't able to see it and then missed opportunity na yung kahapon eh so yun sayang sayang si Tugo uh, recommendation ko ngayon wag nyo na po habulin wala na po kayong position dyan that's already out of position trade gusto nyo mag momentum trade sakin yung momentum pag mag ngat pa yan ngayon you can enter then just make sure you sell within the day then right just in case it goes down benta nyo na kung maket man benta nyo pa rin kasi ang risk nyo dyan napakataas na uh, Bleak Ikaros good morning Sir Lloyd good morning then Zigward Kabarubia good morning Sir Lloyd mukhang nagkatsupitan kahapon kay ISM lumipat kay Tugo hey, anyhow please check AEV and food si AEV na recommend ko yun kahapon yun lum- lumilipad na so I just uh, I removed it already si food gusto ko i-recommend si food eh kasi andyan siya sa uptrend niya kasi wala lang uh, ang hirap na yun ano, medyo mataas na yung risk niya Lochivar de la Rama good morning Sir Lloyd good morning then Mike okay pa din ba si AEV Vulcan and Tugs and DD alright tingnan natin si Vulcan Tugs and DD right sinusubay ba yan development ni ano yun, ni ni ISM tsaka ni Vulcan mag magpa partnership daw sila tingnan natin ano yung partnership nila Ola Montefalco good morning Mika Lerman good morning uh, any thoughts kay to go po sir uh, yeah wag niyo na po hahabulin may news kasi nga pa na maganda si to go eh kaya I was expecting that si Negros Navigation may yung partner nila so yun uh, that was that's something very good if dito po kayo sa probinsya nakatira you're, you're very familiar of um, Negros Navigation for sure kasi pumupunta uh, yun yung laging sinasakyan yung barko pag pumupunta sa Mindanao yun rin yung sinasakyan namin pag umuwi ako sa Mindanao yun so to go uh, don't chase it your, your opportunity to get in will come again right binigyan tayo na napakang raming opportunities ni Tugo hindi lang natin pinansin so yun um, Burnstar TV Gaming good morning sir uh, ay, bumaba bigla yung ano, comments Burnstar uh, good morning sir ano po prediction nyo na move ni JFC um, let's check out JFC right so JFC um, I think magpo pull back pa ito si JFC uh, no not really uh, I think so yeah we'll talk about that in a while alright sige um, let's talk about that now Anyways, mara- mataas, mahaba na may oras natin today. So, JFC. I think JFC is gonna do a, re- uh, a big retracement today. Why? Um, I'm gonna transfer to um, ka- uh, line, okay? Para makita po yung movement. Right, so we have a resistance that is going up. Pataas pa yung resistance natin, di ba? Um, that's the price uh, movement. Hindi siya resistance talaga. Yung presyo, pataas. But the RSI is going down um, going back to our divergence cheat sheet um, so mga hindi pa wala pang copya nito uh, ready your print screen just in case wala pa kayo nito let me pull up the divergence cheat sheet ayan so zoom in ko lang ayan this is a very signal divergence cheat sheet pag yung resistance yung presyo uh, the tops of the prices are going high going higher but the RSI is going down. That means it's a bearish move. Uh, that is what's happening in... Uh, yan. Uh, tapos na kayo mag-print screen. So, at least na kuha nyo na yan. Uh, oops. Chart. So, that's what's happening here. And then, the red one yesterday was our sell signal. Uh, red candlestick. Let me go to candlestick again. Nope. Candles. Ayan. We have a red candlestick. So, that's a confirmation na pababa na siya, right? So, that's a sell signal. Dapat mag-sell half na kayo. Sell half na lang. I'm gonna teach you in a while bakit, uh, why sell half lang. Huwag nyo po ibebenta lahat, right? Kasi, even if you're seeing sell signals, you can't really say if it's gonna go up or down talaga. So, we can't be sure, right? But yeah, that's a, that's a red flag for GFC. That's a signal na you might need to sell half already. Actually, ako nakapag-sell half na ako. Um, 
So I'm just holding my other half. We'll talk about more about selling half in a while. Yun po yung topic natin ngayon. Brainstorm TV. Um, yun. Um, Kassel, John Visaya. Sir, bakit po quarterly report po ni SEC e eh, biglang tumaas ang book value? I haven't checked it yet. Biglang tumataas ang book value kay SEC. Right. Um, I'm gonna check that out. Hindi ko pa po napag-aralan yan. So nga lang, yung price action ni SEC, bumababa pa rin eh. Right. Um, price action okay naman pala the past 3 days nag support na siya and then we have a higher buying right now so I think this is good we have a sideways support uy eto guys yeah check out SAC pag nag green ito today that will be your confirmation this is a divergence right here massive divergence right here so this is very good for SAC right um, I think SAC is gonna be bouncing anytime soon this is a very good bottom for SAC yeah check out SAC guys I'm gonna be adding SAC sa buy list natin pero wait for the bounce right on bounce you can be aggressive pwede nyo pasukin ka agad on the bounce of the day or you can wait for the uh, end of the day kaso nga lang pag end of the day baka lumipad na yun so check out check it out within the day if may nakikita kayong magandang movement pag nasa 3% na yan that's more or less a solid bounce already pwede nyo nang pasukin yan anyways napakalit pa ng risk ninyo dito it's really sitting at the support right now so SEC I, I will recommend SEC today Yan, tingnan ko rin yung book value bakit tumaas yung book value ni SEC right, tingnan natin um, I'll still have to check it out uh, yan, pasensya na guys I still have to check these things out because really I'm not a fundamentalist I received a comment kasi uh, about that na uh, I need improvement on my fundamentals uh, <laughs> accepted ko po yan um I, s I mainly uh, represent a normal trader, right? Normal trader lang po ako. Hindi po ako harder, hardcore trader. Hindi po ako, hindi ko po kinaklaim ako pinakamagaling na trader, right? Um, just a normal trader like you guys. Wala po tayo, I don't have any resources talaga to uh, to really go on massive research about companies, right? Um, like everyone else, wala tayong, wala tayong gaanong oras to really go dwell down into fundamentals of a company. Wala tayong research teams, wala tayong resources for that like those who are connected to brokers na meron silang research teams talaga yung mga brokers. We don't have that. So, yun, um, every now and then, nanonood lang ako ng news pero hindi naman pwede na isubsub ko po yung buong mukha ko sa news naman. So, right, um, every now and then, I check out the news and I just have the news, uh, I just have information, whatever I can Get. So, I'm not really that good of a fundamentalist. Wala po akong, di po ako broker na economist talaga na alam yung tinitingnan. So, I'm just like you. It's just that, nagkataon lang na I just happen to have good experience in trading at which is working and I'm sharing it with everyone. Right? So, yan. Um, anyways, going back, SEC. Yan, guys. Pag nag-green yan si SEC. Tignan ko po mamaya yung news na yan. Hindi ko alam yung news na yan na yung SEC na tumaas pala yung book value. Let's check it out later. I'm gonna write that down. Kamusta, uh, kumustahin ko yan. SEC. Yan. Um, next is... Uh, asa na? <clears throat> Nawala. Asa na yun? Ayan. Maying buntag from Brilliant Encore. Maying buntag sa imo Sir Lloyd. Like uh, kag mga ka-daily grinders. Right? ISM, MRC... Uh, I mean, ISM, IRC, ABA, VUL. Si ABA, VUL, BCOR, PLC, BCOR. Walang, walang pullback eh. Hindi <laughs> siguro uso ang pullback kay BCOR. IRC, ABA, Vulcan, BCOR, PLC, and Greenetta. Hindi ko pa doon na susulat itong tatlo. Right, so let's check them out. Right, Aniline, Sir Lloyd, CER showing weakness already. Thanks, right? CEI. Show, is it showing weakness already? Yeah. No, nagbabounce na eh. Right? Dito, itong pula na ito. This was the weakness, right? So, you should have sold half. Dito pala sa pula, right? But now, it's uh, showing bounce already. So, I don't I don't see that as a weakness anymore. Uh, but, yeah. Ito pa lang. Itong pula lang na ito. It closed lower than the previous candlestick. So, that's weakness of the uh, of the momentum already. So, it's, I think it's gonna do a pullback. Let's wait for it at ME20 if ever. Um, lumapit dyan at least dyan maliit yung risk natin so yon. hopefully it goes back down Angelo Rubia good morning everyone good morning um, TL <laughs> uh, miss ko yan na tinatawa akong TL ng mga tao you see yun Manila approved na live ko yon. very good Angelo Rubia right. nga pala guys December 29 Manila po sa Makati uh, Lepanto building the office of dun, dun po yung office ng 2 3 Asia right. if you wanna join the seminar it's gonna be very uh, sulit 
Pasensya na sa pagkakonyo. <laughs> uh, napakasulit po ng workshop and it's sponsored by 2Trade Asia kaya mas lesser po than my normal seminars. Right? I was re- I'm really looking for ways para po maging affordable for everyone and enough lang naman para to cover the expenses ko po dyan sa pag punta dyan, sa, pag, sa pag-stay dyan, pangkain and everything. So yeah, uh, it's a very uh, it's a very good seminar. You can check out the com- recommendations of the students of mine doon sa Financial Freedom 101 Facebook page ko po. Nandun po yung testimonial sila, how did they find the seminar and how they're doing now, right? I'm, I'm, I show uh, ports of my students every now and then, yung mga binabalita nila sa akin, kinakamusta ko. And they're doing well, right? I hope you're you will be doing well also, right? It, if you want to do that on this bullish market, take advantage of it already, right? Wag niyo po sa sayangin na bullish ang market, nangangapapa kayo, tapos mamaya na kayo matututo, and then bearish market na, so wala na naman, de ba? So it's gonna be very uh, counterproductive. So as much as possible, cut that learning curve, learn it fast by joining the seminar. Send me a message if you wanna join. Sa butuan po, December 16. That's gonna be this sun- Sunday, 1 to 6 p.m. Uh, send me a message so I can send you the details. Also, um, sa mga hindi po join on those venues, next week po, that will be the last online seminar. That will be the last webinar for this year. Uh, December 22 and 23. Saturday, Sunday, 9 in the morning. So, if you wanna join that instead, please send me a message also. And so see you in Manila, Angelo Rubia, Pokemon Bleeder, YouTube, oh, YouTube, good morning. Uh, Nel, Noel Taranco, good morning. Coach, pakisuyo po ng MPI. Si MPI, um, nag-shaky pa yung support niya. So let's check out MPI pa rin. Uh, did recommend MPI kahapon. Nag-sup- uh, nag-hold naman yung support. So still good. Nintay ko lang mag-green ulit before ko i-recommend ulit. Ko. That's the confirmation ng bounce niya. IRC, win and food. Ayan, si win and f- uh, si food. Andiyan na. Si win na lang. Sulat natin si win. Right. El Razo, good morning sir. MHC and what is the best price to enter? EWs. MHC, I've been recommending that last week ba yun? And dumakit na si MHC ngayon eh. Uh, Best price to enter EW. Right. Na, tignan natin si MHC and EW. Ayan. Right. So, 8, 840. Tingnan ko muna. Uh, thanks and more power. Thank you, El Razo. Tristan Porcadas. Sa, sir, mukhang bagong tabas ka. Ako nga eh. <laughs> Yet, pas, pag may seminar coming, nagpapatabas ako para mukhang matalino naman tayo. <laughs> right. Pokemon Blader, YouTube. Good morning, sir. Idan po ito. Si Idan. Ayan. Good morning, Idan. Ayan. Si Idan pala ito. Uh, we just we just talked to their family last night. Nga pala. Alright. Um, I was talking to the Idan's family last night. We were talking about insurance. Because, ang ganda po ng story ng pamilya nila. Right. So, um, uh, one of these days, uh, I'm gonna share it to you guys. Uh, if you are looking for a way pala po pala. Uh, if you're looking for uh a coach or right? financial advisor po you can talk to me send me a message so i can set an appointment to you guys para po mag-guide ko po hindi lang sa stock market i'm also financial uh, financial coach uh, yun uh, if you want to talk to me and you need guidance on your finances uh, if you want to start a business i can i can be uh, a person who can help you right nagsimula ang dami ko pong negosyo na simulan dati uh, they were failing ito yung financial freedom 101 so far is has been doing good um for me, right? It's a very fulfilling business for me, actually, right? Because I've been, sa YouTube lang, uh, YouTube has been helping me. Yun yung, yun na po yung ano, yun na po yung parang everyday na earnings ko sa YouTube. So, I consider my YouTube a business. I consider helping my business already. So, I'm taking it seriously po talaga. But yeah, um, if you want a financial advisor, let me know so we can set, set a schedule. Uh, we'll talk, uh, I'll talk to you guys magaidan ko po kayo so kung ano um, ano po yung dapat yung gawin sa finances niyo for financial freedom let's get rich together nga eh, di ba um, brilliant encore i am trying out a new strategy of tra- uh, trying to ride up trending stocks intraday pag off ko kaso minsan masyado na yata mataas mga nakikita ko any advice sir lord very, very good question brilliant encore Okay lang naman yan. Um, for example, eto, kahapon nag-bullish si Tugo. Early bullish movement si Tugo. Yun po yung sasakyan ninyo. Right? Um, umabot ng ano? Umabot ng ceiling si Tugo. Saan na nasakyan mo yun? Right? If there is a stock that is increasing in momentum, tignan niyo po yan intraday. And then, look for your entry. Right? Look for your entry. I use Bollinger Bands MA20. Pag nag-retrace yan on its momentum and then bounces at MA20, that will be my entry point. Right? Just in case na magtuloy-tuloy yung momentum niya, 
nakasakay ako. I'm just gonna buy high, sell higher. Ganun lang for in today. Right? So, yun, sana. Now, let's, uh, yun, very good question. Before we go to the discussion, let's go with two goals intraday movement yesterday. For intraday, sa so mga gustong, um, gustong mag, mag intraday, yeah, tingnan nyo po ito, right? So, intraday movement of two go yesterday, right? nag-breakout siya at this point, right? So, if you, you are intraday and the breakout siya, tinanggal ko yung linya, right? Uh, the breakout niya yesterday was at this point. Let me go to one day muna. One day chart. Ayan. So, intraday movement na maganda for to go, right? Kahapon, nag-breakout siya. And then, that's already good momentum. Pwede kang mag-position dyan or pwede mo yung momentum trade. At this point, umakyat na siya ng 6% na yan. 6.51% opening. That's already bullish signal, di ba? So, tignan mo yan intraday. Uy, may resistance dito. It's a very strong resistance. So, this is, can be, this is a good candidate for intraday trading. So, tignan mo na 1-minute chart by then. Right, so here, look at this right here. This is my lesson sa Bollinger Band. Medyo mataas na yan, di ba? So wait for it to do a pullback within the day. Where did it bounce? MA20, that will be your entry point. And look at that. Nagsasakay siya sa MA20. Kung nakasakay, nakapasok ka dito, there it is. Where do you wait for it again? MA20. There it is. And then when it broke MA20, right, that's the sell signal. You can sell half. Sell half lang. Tuturo ko sa inyo. Kasi hindi mo alam kung magtutuloy-tuloy yan sa baba. Or umakyat na naman. So, if kahapon, dito mo na siya nasakyan, ito, it broke MA20, nag Bollinger Band trigger dito, and then, where do you wait for it? MA20 ulit. There's the MA20, then, it broke MA20, but made a, uh, ayan, um, meron dito, uh, broke naman yung MA20, so, let's see, ano mangyayari? We have a higher low right here. So, ayan, it's been, um, intraday, intraday na naman na uh, technical analysis, you just have to be very fast. It's bounced to MA20, it broke MA20, we have an engulfing right here, we have a higher low right here, we have a breakout right here. This happens in the minute. Kaya nga sinasabi ko sa inyo guys, um, by the minute ito nangyayari. So you have to be very fast with your technical analysis. You saw a breakout here, good volume, good momentum sa RSI. So that's your entry point. If pinasok mo yan dyan, and there it is. Kung hindi ka nakapasok dyan, Bollinger Band Trigger, look at that, near MA20, that's your entry point again. So same, uh, same basically. Um, technical analysis, just that it's much, much more faster. Right? Mas mabilis lang talaga siya. Right? So, I hope you see all that. Uh, I hope that was very clear for intraday. <coughs> Practice niyo po. Master niyo po muna yung position trading. It's the same technical analysis, just a slower yung position trading. Mas mabagal lang ang execution because by the day siya tinitignan natin. Ito, by the minute. Ha breakout happens by the minute engulfing patterns happen by the minute higher lows happen by the minute ME20 bounces happen by the minute so you have to be very fast with your uh, with your decision making lang sa intraday oops uh, so yeah um, let's go now to the discussion Today, we're going to be talking about the art of selling half in trading but before we go to that we want to thank our sponsors 23 Asia, check out 23 Asia at 23 Asia.com. They've been very generous to us. Grabe po ang tulong nila sa atin. Um, they really believe in our uh, in our what they call this in our goal for financial literacy. Hindi lang for stocks, but financial literacy uh, for the people. Um, 23 Asia has been helping us, and they're gonna be. They promise they'll be helping us more in the future. So yan. Check out 23 Asia. Ang ganda po ng platform nila, uh, ang prime nila, maganda. Two hundred thousand lang. Uh, 100, uh, 200,000 trades worth of trade, right? Worth of trade every month. So, kahit 50k lang pera ninyo, pero bili kayo ng buy, buy and sell, buy and sell kayo na umabot ng 200,000, kakabay and sell, 50,000 buy, binenta mo ulit, and another buy of 50,000, binenta mo ulit. Kung if you just have 200,000 worth of trade in a month, you will be qualified for it, right? Isak po ako sa nag-recommend dyan. Sabi ko sa kanila na meron namang ganyan si First Metro, di ba? Um, but first metro lang, kailangan mo 1 million uh, worth of funds. That's gonna be very hard for the Filipinos. So I recommended to them na babaan nyo po and let people try it first. So ngayon, if you open a 2Trade Asia account, you will have 1 month worth of free trial. Pwede nyo po magamit yung Prime nila. And the Prime looks very good. Napaka-helpful po. One of these days, I'm gonna be making a video about the Prime to make a review about it. Tingnan niyo po 'yan, right? Ang kagandahan talaga ng 2 Trade Asia is what if wala ka sa bahay mo, nasa labas ka, you can always trade. So kung kailangan mo mag-cut loss while you're outside, 
you can do that or kailangan mo mag-buy while you're outside you can do that so check out 23 days at 23 days.com right um let's go uh let's start uh selling half the art of selling half right so let me just prepare this really quick the art of selling half what if your your stock is already winning what if na 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 ang stock mo anong gagawin mo are you gonna sell are you gonna hold let's for example dito right, babaan ko lang ito let me share my screen so for example eto ang stock nito this is smc right here we go and smc right so what if pumasok ka dito this is one of my lessons sa bollinger band this is a constricted bollinger band nag trigger siya dito but did not sustain or do wait for it ma20 so kung pinasok mo ito sa ma20 and you were able to ride this climb right here this is already a win and then you see a sell signal this is a weakness dito right so if you see a weakness here what do you do do you sell do you hold maganda yung momentum ganda ng, ang ganda ng volume niya do you sell or do you hold or do nothing i mean sell or hold yun lang naman ang pwede natin gawin di ba so some people will answer sir will sell right you might you might also answer na Sir Lloyd, I'll hold, right? So that's okay. Those both of those answers, wala pong tamat malijan. But I'm gonna share to you a better, uh, better uh, action, especially for traders. And I'm gonna explain to you why. I just always tell you to sell half. Pag ganito na you saw a weakness, my answer will be sell half. You hear that from me a lot. Sell half, hold the other half. Right? And then, sa other half naman, let it ride lang. And then, if it reaches your purchase price, for example, dito mo binili, um, your average, if it reaches your average, sell it already. So, break even lang ang goal mo sa other half. Right? Break even. Just in case na bumaba siya. So, sell it at your purchase price. Right? Why do I recommend that? How does it uh, How does it help you? Um, let me open paint. Right, this method remember this remember this this method will always put you on the winning side whatever happens to a stock after winning right so yun it will always put you on the winning side how how does it put you always on the winning side we will be uh, th uh this method embraces the the fact that we cannot predict the future of a stock hindi po natin alam ang future ng stock. Kahit na may sell signal dyan, baka umakyat pa rin yan. Or, mangyari nga na sell at bumaba. That's the fact. That's the point here. We will play with that. Uh, we will play with that reality na we cannot predict the mo future movements of a stock. So, let's, uh, let me let me draw a line. Right, so, for example, dito mo siya binili, 0%. Kasi kakabili mo lang. This is the losing side. And this is the winning side, right? So losing side and winning side. So what if, punta ba tayo balik sa chart, what if nangyari sa ito, bumili ka dito, and then this happened around 129 or dito nga sa 132, binenta mo dyan. So you're already winning, I mean, you are seeing that weakness already, nag-resistance na dyan. So you are already winning 20%. Ang ganda na niyang win na yan, di ba? So what if, benta mo dyan doon. Right? So let's say this is the area right here. This is the 132%. Peso. So let's see, let's say tayo na mga magse-sell half, lagyan natin ng peso sign dito and dito tayo sa taas. Right? So sell half tayo, may peso sign kasi may pera na tayo. So yung iba mag-hold. So lagyan natin dito sa baba si mag-hold. Right? So wala siyang peso sign kasi do gain siya, he's at our level already, pero wala pa siyang pera. Right? Kasi uh, paper gains pa lang naman 'yan. Yung iba naman magse-sell all dito. So sell all siya dito. Lagyan natin ng peso sign dito kasi binanta niya lahat dyan. So, may pera siya. Right? Both of us have money at this point. Now, remember, again, this, uh, we are playing on the fact that we don't know what will happen to a stock even if we see a sell signal. So, here we saw a sell signal. But what if this happens? Even if may sell signal na doon, umakit pa siya. Diba? So, we cannot predict the market. Right? And in this case, umakit pa siya. Um, instead of just winning 20%, na doble pa, naging 37%. Diba? So, yan. What if that happens? Let's see the diagram now. The next uh, following days, uh, since, uh, since 
umakyat naman siya so we were able to ride to this point lagay natin na yung 152 is this point this is the 152 pesos na so yung and then doon ka magbenta yung nag hold doon nagbenta so lagay natin siya dito umabot siya hanggang dito lalagyan natin siya ng peso sign dito tayo kalahati na lang ang hawak natin eh di ba so if we are still holding half then doon din tayo magbenta sa 152 we are at around this level kalahati na lang cause half na lang ang nang gain sa atin eh so let's we sell here so we have a peso sign here and then yung nagbenta lahat noon wala na siya he's already out of the trade so he's naiwan siya doon Now let's let's examine the positions. Who is at the best position? Yung naghold. Good for him. He was able to win it all. Yung nag sell all. He's now at the worst position, right? That's the worst position right now. We are in the middle, so not bad, right? Not bad. This is still a very good win from here to here, de ba? Now what if? This doesn't happen. Iba naman yung mangyari. For example, tulad ni Vulcan. Si Vulcan ba yun? Or si, or si IDC. Let's, let's try IDC. Yan. Si IDC. Yung gains ni IDC, sinakyan mo at sinakyan. And then, suddenly, let's say, kaya nito, um, ang ganda ng rally niya. And then, suddenly, in just two days, na ubus niya yung gains niya. Worse pa nga is nag-break pa nga ng support, di ba? So, what if this happens? What if mas mababa pa nga in just, in just in just a day? Right? So, let's go back to the diagram. Right? So, what if kabaliktaran ang nangyari and that sell signal really went down? Di ba? So, yung nag-hold nag naman, lagi natin, unahin natin si nag-hold. Kasi, he had to cut losses. Let's say, kailangan niya pa mag-cut loss. Umabot siya dito. Right? So, pera na, naging bato pa. May pera na siya dapat dito eh, di ba? So, yung nag-hold naman, I mean, nag-sell all, andun pa rin siya sa pinaka-tuktok. Right? So, maiwan siya doon kasi nabenta niya lahat eh. Tayo, na we already sold half, so nag na tayo sa kalahat eh. We sell half at the break-even point. So, more or less, andito tayo at this position. Right? So, mm, now, let's examine the positions now. Ang uh, pinakampangit na position is yung nag uh, yung nag hold. The best position now is this guy right here because he was able to win it all. Right? And tayo again, we're still at the middle, not bad. We're still on the winning side whatever happens, 'di ba? So, yun, um the goal of a good trader is not to win it all. Right? Because if you want to win it all, you can lose it all. This is also trying to win it all, right? Hinuhulaan mo dun sa taas, right? We'll discuss more about that later. So tayo, andito tayo sa not bad. We're always on the winning side, whatever happens to the stock. And this is our goal. This is how you draw a frog. Biro lang, right? So, yan. Um, that's our goal. Whatever happened to the stock, we are always on the winning side. Sinasabi ng iba na, Sir Lloyd, okay lang mag-sell all ako. Anyways, gain is gain. I receive that a lot. Sir Lloyd, gain is gain. Yes, somehow I'll give you that excuse. But, uh, what if this happens? Right? For example, a very good example of gain is gain. Right? So, doon na lang ako sa extreme kaagad. Ang dami, ko, ang dami pang examples na ganito eh. But yeah. Let's let me remove yan. So, share my screen right now. This is heaven, right? So if ever pumasok kayo dito, look at this. Same technical analysis, Bollinger Band trigger right here and then MA20 and then there's the bounce right there. So, pinasok niyo sana yan sa MA20. That's the best entry point ng sakay kay dito. Right? So, MA20 and then there it is. From this point to this point, nanalo ka na ng 411%. 411% is a lot. If you put in 1 million in this in, in this position right here, naging 4.1 million ang pera mo. If 100,000 linagay mo, naging 400,000. Diba? So that's a lot. And then you saw the sell signal. It's closing inside the Bollinger Band. The momentum is not there already. So happy ka na sa 411%. So you sell it all. Binenta mo lahat. Happy ka na. Again, we don't know what will happen to the stock. And in this case, lumipad pa ng lumipad. up to a point of 1,729%. That's 
if 1 million ang linagay mo instead of winning just 4 million naging 17 million sana ang pera mo so you see how much the difference is just because you got greedy and sold too early right win is win yes uh, sir sir lloyd goal is, uh, i mean uh, win is a win yeah i can take that excuse but i consider this as a loss ang hirap kaya maghanap ng stock na ganito swerte mo na naandyan ka at nakasakay ka di ba it's really hard to look for these kinds of stocks. And then, just because you got greedy, ayun, you missed the entirety of it. So, I consider that as a loss. That's why I really want you guys to just sell half. Nangyari din ito kay Annie. Uh, earlier this year, I recommended Annie. Dito pa lang sa baba si Annie. Dito. When this Bollinger Band trigger happened, constricted Bollinger Band, look at that. Constricted Bollinger Band nag-trigger. And then, there it is. And then, yung iba... After the sell, after the sell signal, nagbebenta na. But there it is. Kasi binenta na lahat, they missed this growth of Annie. Right? That's why I don't really want you guys to sell all. Right? Selling all is being greedy. You're trying to win it all. Again, you don't know what will happen to the stock in the future. It might go down, but you could be wrong. It might go up. Sayang naman. Diba? Anyways, just sell half. If ever if ever it really goes down, then sell just just break even on the other half. Overall, panalo ka pa rin. So that, just in case nga umakit man siya at lumapit, lumipad pa yan, you're still in the trade. Right? Now, one of the biggest mistakes of a newbie is selling too early. This is the solution for that. So, wag po kayo mag-sell too early. If you need to sell, just sell half because you really don't know what will happen to a stock. This is the reason why I oh, you always hear me na sell half nyo lang, sell half nyo lang. Right? So, I'm explaining to you now bakit sell half lang. This is one of my le lessons sa... sa sa seminars guys if you want a more structured lecture for me right mas uh, mas systematic na lecture join my seminars right so let me check if you have any comments about that ha natawa ako sa <laughs> draw a frog right um good morning pizza sir okay ba pasukin smc dnl please all right um i think okay naman i yung bagong talong book all right so i think walang question uh i think wala namang question sa Yun nga eh, Jan Valens. Daily Grind has been buffering for 10 minutes or so. Can play other YouTube videos though. I think there's something wrong with my settings, right? I'm just gonna check this out later. Thank you so much for uh, for pointing that out, Dan. Right? I hope walang iba naman nagka-problema. Sir Lloyd, paano, mo na, paano naman kung investor ka, gain mo 50% sa ISM, sale ba or buy more? Nakabili ako sa 2.4 at 2.8. You can always sell half and then just buy more at the next dip. And then, doon sa next dip, yun yung gagawin mong support pag nag-buy more ka. We'll talk more about that. Isa yun sa mga lessons ko sa seminar. But we'll talk about that on a different day na lang. Alright? But yeah, uh, isa sa lesson ko yan noon, Rodrigo, um, there is a, I have a video about that, um, the investor strategies. Alright? What are the different types of investor strategies? One time, big time, pumasok ka kaagad lahat. And then, hope for it to go up, which is what your position is right now. Next is the cost averaging. Pwede ka mag-cost averaging. Right? You, you just don't really care if the stock is going to go on a downtrend and then just keep buying more. Then there's the an advanced cost averaging where whenever it, the stock dips and goes to its uptrend line, you buy more. If he breaks that uptrend line, you sell half. And then antayin mo ulit mag-stabilize and then the, the money that you got from selling half, you buy more. Alright? Uh, sir, kailan sked nyo po sa Naga City? Wala pa eh. Pa pa paano sir yung buyback options? Uh, coach, sa natin paka kawalan yung second half na natira. Right? So, second half na natira at your purchase price. Right? You sell it at your purchase price. So, break even lang. If ever it really goes down, i-cut mo doon sa uh, cut mo doon sa purchase price mo. So, break even ka lang sa kabila. Right? Alright, so yes, that's it for the lesson for today. And I'm gonna be th thinking of another lesson natin bukas. Uh, so we'll talk about that. Um, Denzel, sir, where do you buy more after selling half during sell signals? Uh, where do you buy more? Antay nyo po yung pullback. Kung mag-pullback man siya and bounces at a higher low, you buy more at that point. Alright, so pwede ka na mag-buy more at that point. With your with your other half, if ever mag mag bounce man siya. If you decide to buy, to buy more, right? If you decide to buy more, okay naman. Uh, Sir Lloyd, mag discount ba si two trades sa opening na account? 
to 5k yes if you join the seminar this is the one one of the advantage of joining the seminar on december 29 promotion po nila if you join that seminar uh, you can open a 2 trade asia account for just 5000 pesos and you can try their prime already with that 5000 lang kaya pwede niyo na pong subukan ng prime so that if you like it then you can decide to put more in it right so, napakaganda po niyan. So, take advantage of it. Bleak, nasagot na pala. Delay sa akin. Alright. Sir, how do we enter that on the journal po? Pansin ko kasi, uh, one buy, one sell siya doon sa sample po. Alright. That's a very good, that's a very good, ano? That's a very good uh, question, beam o. Alright. So, ang, usually, ang ginagawa ko, I just record everything sa buy more overall kung how much ang inumpisahan kong pera yun na nilalagay ko for example 10k and I sell half ganito when I sell half naggain ako ng 6k and then that 6k I buy it more on the stock and then it goes up again and then when I sell all magkano yung nakuha ko lahat when I sold all so yun yung makikita ko so um, from 10k ang gains ko is uh, I sold it uh, from 10k yung pera ko naging 15,000 so yun yung ilalagay ko sa journal right? Mam pero isusulat ko po yung micro details so kailan ako nagbuy more uh, ganyan and then overall magkano yung pera ko so yun yung ilalagay ko sa journal when I sell all already very good question B uh, very good question BMO Ronnie Ablog sir may good news kay CHP resume na po ang Apo operation so that's very good CHP's uh, CHP's what they call it? CHP's uh, technical analysis it's looking good naman are you open for per percentage income of 1 million investment as a fund manager Bermut dati ginagawa ko po yan uh, ngayon hindi na kasi I've, I'm really busy na lately so I don't want na ma, ma ano ma ma mapabayaan ko po yung port ninyo. So, I don't wanna take that responsibility anymore. Don't wanna be greedy. Right? So, dati tinatang gumagawa po ako niyan. Actually, mayroon pa akong ilang accounts na hinahawakan niyan but I don't wanna accept more anymore. Like, especially this week, next week, punta ako ng butuan. Mapapabayaan ko po yung port. Right? So, I strongly recommend eToro for you, Bermud. Right? So, eToro. Let's check out eToro, guys. Uh, eToro eToro at eToro.com Ayan. So, down at the video description meron pong uh, meron pong eToro link dyan please use that link that's gonna help me in return but here you can get fund manager without giving them percentage of your earnings right you can you can I can be your portfolio manager using eToro this is much better or you can look for other people who has very good stats right so um, meron akong gusto i-feature sa inyo guys uh, if you wanna check this person out let me just get his name um, FF101 uh, itoro. Alright, this person, I will strongly recommend this person. Sa mga naghahanap ng uh, magaling na trader dyan, Jerowen Decker. Let me search for him. Jerowen. Alright, this is for Bermot also. Alright, Jero, no. Jero ni mo tuloy. <laughs> Jerowen Decker. Yan, si Ames Trader. Yan, this guy is good. Look at his statistics. Right, here in December, Negative 3.24 siya, pero sisimula pa lang December. But the, for the whole year, he's been gaining. Right? Check this guy out. Right? Ang ganda ng performance niya. Even on the bearish market, kumikita siya. His portfolio, you can see ano yung mga pinapasukan niya, niya dito. Alang mag-load. I don't know why. Uh, Aims Trader portfolio. Yan. Basta makikita niyo po dyan. I think may, may error lang dyan. But here, he has six. 3,322 copiers meaning 6,000 people po ang fund manage niya right so this is very good this is a this is a very good uh, trader right F ang hinahawakan yung fund all, uh, is around 5 million dollars plus na this guy is good right you can check this person out pwede nyo po i-copy trade siya dito marami po kayong uh, what they call this fund manager and hindi na po kayo magbabayad ng percentage through the trade kasi di ba so pag nagte-trade tayo may broker fees so when there, there are broker fees doon po kinukuha ng 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 eToro binibigay nila sa fund manager mo right so wala po makukuha sa earnings mo so clean whatever you earn it's already clean right and doon na yung charges the best thing about this here is passive income ito right nakaupo lang kayo yeah let other traders do the trade for you. So, check out to eToro. Please use my link dyan sa baba. That's how you help me in return, right, for eToro. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. 
All right, so here, um, I'm gonna go full screen. All right, so I'm gonna go to my recommendations now for today. Guys, number one, see ICT. I will put this on number one. ICT is at support right there. This stock has been very consistent. Ang ganda ng numbers niya. Plus, at plus 18% third quarter. Second quarter, plus 5%. First quarter, uh, negative 11. But overall, um, ano niya, uh, annual report niya, positive. So, the company's been doing well. Look at this volume. Ang ganda ng volume on this bounce right here. Meron po tayong chance na pumasok. Hindi po po masyado mataas ang risk natin. So, you can check this stock out. Very good support right there. Current risk niyo lang is just 1.58% away from support. So more or less 4 to 5% lang ang risk niyo in this stock. So this stock is very good to get into. You have a good confirmation of the volume right there. Huwag niyo po sasayangin ito opportunity na ito for ICT. Yan. Sa ICT, pwede niyo po pasukin yan. Pero test buy lang. Right? Uh, Vita naman. Ito si Vita. I'm recommending Vita now because we just had a solid bounce after that retracement. It's very near MA20. You can use this uptrend line as your support or the MA20 as your support for Vita. Um, next is Maxis. I've been recommending Maxis for the past few days. And lumilipad na si Maxis. Right? But we're still near support. So maliit pa rin ang risk natin for Maxis. And yan. Um, let me see. A negative 3. So, konti ingat lang kay Maxis, right? I can remove Maxis already. Anyways, nirecommend ko naman ito kahapon. So, kahapon was the best entry for Maxis. So, let me remove Maxis. Next is DNL. DNL. Uh, sir, empty yung portfolio ni Ames Trader. Yan, hindi nga makita eh. I think may, may error lang. Uh, connected by Itoro sa PSE? No. Uh, PSE, uh, hindi pwede ang Itoro sa PSE. Why? Napakanipis po ng PSE. What if that guy with 5 million dollars buys uh, buys JFC Lilipad for 5 million 5 million dollars Bibili kay JFC Hindi kaya ng, hindi kaya ng uh, Liquidity ng PSE yan right? What if he sells Magbibenta yan lahat Magkukulaps ang isang stock sa PSE Napakanipis lang po ng PSE So hindi pwede si, si Itoro sa PSE right? So yan When we discuss Itoro on December 29 seminar uh, Bermut, uh, siguro, ano, siguro after the seminar, right? Uh, just respect for to the Asia because that, uh, that's conflict of interest kasi. Eh. So, we can talk about that after, right? Or I can, I can, I can send, uh, send me a message to Facebook, Bermut, so I can, ano, so I can, we, we can talk within the day na naman. Glenn Lopez, for example, pag naka-apertrade ako kay Itoro, pag gain ka na ng 10%, pwede mo na stop copy sa kanya or hayaan mo lang. That's the beauty of Itoro. One of the advantage of Itoro, very good question. And the, one of the advantage of Itoro is what if you're already happy with the gains, you can always stop the copy anytime. Unlike na kung sa PSE, kuha ka ng fund manager, punta ka sa isang broker, bigyan ka ka ng 1 million. Yan ha, it's around 100,000 to 1 million um, ang, um, para makakuha ka ng fund manager right, sa PSE. So, napakamahal. Dito, as low as 10,000. So, here, ang problema sa fund manager is hindi mo monitored ang pera mo. Magre-report sila sa iyo after a year. Sir, uh, Sir, Sir Lloyd, eto na, 20% na ang gain mo ng, ng 1 million mo after one year, do you want to take it out or not? So, ganyan ang mangyayari. Dito sa Itoro, ang problema kasi doon sa 20%, you don't know in the middle of the year, baka nag 40% yun, nag bearish lang bigla, naging 20%, di ba? Sa Itoro, if it goes to a point na gusto mo na mag-withdraw, you can do that and you can stop the, uh, you can stop the trade already. And then, you gain that already. And then, yun. Um, wala naman makukuha sa, sa earnings mo kasi si Itoro magbabayad sa mga taong ito. Right? So, yan. That's a very good question. Um, paano ilagay yung earnings sa chart, Sir Lloyd? Paano ilagay yung earnings sa chart? Um, etong letter E dito sa baba, this is the earnings of the companies right here. etong E. Just click on the E. Lalabas yung earnings na yan. Right, so continue. Sayang sir, hindi pa di itoro dito sa Canada. Yun nga lang eh. Charito, I, there's a loophole for that. If you have a family member na nandito sa Pilipinas, sila po yung paggawin mo ng account. And then you can take over the account when you're there. Right, pag Philippines na yung account at pwede mag trade because it's Philippines. If you open your account there, pwede ka na maka trade actually. So pwede ganun. <laughs> sir, ayan. Uh, Idol. Anong projected price na opening ka ASM? Can anyone answer please? Uh, Patrick Dokot, hindi ko pa na-open yung ano ko eh. Hindi ko na-open yung uh, Timson ko. DNL, 
Uh, next sa mga recommendation ko is DMC. Ito rin guys, sayang rin itong opportunity nito. Um, DNL, kakabounce lang. That's a good support already. That's a divergence right there. So, pa, uh, sideways ang support but RSI is going up. So, that's already a divergence. This is a good entry point for DNL and nagbabounce na ang market. So, this is very good for DNL. Right? So, DNL, I'm recommending DNL ulit. Yesterday, I recommended DNL. That's the confirmation you're looking for. So, yan. You can still enter DNL. Swerte natin hindi lumipad si DNL kaagad. DMC. Ayan. Very good so support, guys, for DMC. So, that support is holding. So, check this support out. Pwede nyo pong itest by na si DMC. Overall, still very cheap. Right? So, DMC. Check that out. SMPH. One of my recommendations also for today. Ganda na SMPH. Nakikisama sa market. Very good volume yesterday. So, you, this is something you should be uh, happy about. So, SMPH at 35 pesos is still very cheap. So, that's an uptrend. Uh, Kakabounce lang niya from the retracement. And makikisama ito sa market today. So, I think market is gonna go green today. So, pasukin niyo po yan. Pwede niyo po i-trade si SMPH. If you're still a newbie, practice niyo po i-trade. Test your technical analysis out and execution on blue chips. This is one of the good... Uh, one of the good stocks you can test out your technical analysis in. Kasi pag nananalo na kayo consistently on the blue chips, what more kaya sa mga basura stocks, di ba? Sa blue chips mga, nagtitrade kayo, hindi kayo manalo-nalo. Ano pa kaya dun sa mga basura stocks? <laughs> di ba? So, yan. Um, next uh, recommendations ko, SMPH, VLL. Ito si VLL, guys. Uh, we have good uh, price action already for VLL. Right? So, while nasa support pa yan, right? Mm, test buy lang since, mm, since sideways pa naman yan so VLL huwag yung po sasayangin yan that's a good company <clears throat> ABS sakit na lalamunan ko ABS <clears throat> dal dal problems eh <laughs> right so ABS CBN look at this right here we have a good difference for ABS ABS overall is a good company right sideways po ang support natin na pressure na movement right uh, but RSI is already going up we have a small divergence right here. At the unang signal niya. We have going down prices, but RSI is going up. That's a divergence already. And we have that solidification. Um, not solidification. Uh, what do you call this? We have that stabilization right there and made a support right here. This is the best entry point for this kind of position. Position na, na, na po yan. Napaka undervalued po ni abs -CBN. One of the most undervalued stocks in the stock market so wag niyo po sasayahin yung position na yan that's just test buy at wag niyo po muna lalagay malaking pera dyan kasi sideways pa naman yan again the trend is your friend sideways trend is not your friend ang uptrend po ang best friend ninyo so mamaya niyo nalalagyan ng malaking pera pag uptrend na pero at least man lang sa pinakababa na sakyan niyo na um, next is SCC on the bounce antayin niyo po yung bounce ni SCC and we just discussed this today diba so SCC wait for the bounce of SCC, SCC and that will be your entry point SEC. So those are my recommendations for today. I hope everything is clear. Um, Tugo po, Sir Lloyd. Tugo is at 17.5. Bcar 3.05. Wag niyo po hahabulin sa opening. Amateur R. We just discussed about that. ISM po, uh, 5.74 ISM. Right, that's good. ISM is 5.74. Uh, pag 5.74, mas mataas siya. I really want ISM to show me a good bounce at makapag-buy more na talaga ako. Hindi ako naka-buy more dito kasi I was out. Uh, sayang yun uh, missed opportunity na rin yan so magbabounce yan that's gonna be another higher low so that's gonna be a good sign for ISM so yun po yung papasukin ko sa ISM pag nagbounce yan mm. uh, Sir New Visit okay po ba for long term uh, ISM is good for long term for me yes kind of speculative pa for now but everything is looking good naman eh. so I think yes good term uh, good term long term see si ISM for me. Actually, I'm already in it for long term. Lawrence, Tugo, Poster Lloyd, masyado mataas na po yan. Huwag nyo na po hahabulin. Bicor po, paano po reservation sa Butuan City and at specific place po sa seminar. Thanks. Misamis Occidental Traders. Loren Lorenze, Legad, please send me a message sa Facebook. Right? Sasagutin ko po kayo mamaya. Right? Para mag-on na tayo. <laughs> BJ, basura stocks po ba si ISM and VUL? I don't consider ISM as a basura stock but as of the moment, since hindi pa naman siya blue chip, um, you can consider him as a uh, basura stock si Vul din basura stocks din kasi hindi naman siya blue chip Rainer Edward Juliesa undervalued po ba si Didi yes it's undervalued already right maganda na ngayon ang movement ni Didi eh. and it's been earning well already I'm gonna check out Didi's uh, what do you call this uh, Didi's uh, what do you call this uh, 
Para basta para makita ninyo, definitely go to Call Financial and then tingnan niyo po sa uh, what do you call this? Sa uh, fair value. Pag mas mababa pa siya sa fair value niya, you can say that the stock is uh, is uh, what do you call this undervalued. All right? So let's go for uh, let's check out ISM. Si ISM po, lagyan niyo uh, antayin niyo po muna yung bounce before you wanna get in ISM for today. ISM si Or naman Uh, these are the picks of the uh, request of the people. Alright, malapit na sa MA20 si Or. So actually, nagbabounce na siya sa hapon. I don't really know if it's continue the bounce. It's gonna continue the bounce. If it continues, then pasukin yun na po. That's the MA20 bounce already right here. So, baka magbounce na si Or. Antayin lang ng bounce just to be sure. SMP, I mean SM. Right? Si SM, just ride the uptrend of SM. Right? Napaka clear po ng uptrend ni SM dito. There it is, and nagbabounce siya naman doon. Right now, um, I think it's still okay, right? But as much as possible, try to bargain. Get near, near that uptrend line as much as you can. Next for SM is Finn. Right. Sir, ano recommendation nyo? Is it intraday for swing trades? Swing trades, most especially. Christopher Giamatti. Uh, recommendations ko, these recommendations are best for swing trades. Ang, ang intraday kasi guys is you have to wait for the stock to go bullish within the day before nyo po sasakyan. Si Fen naman, uy, massive volume yesterday. Right? Very good for Fen. Uh, yun eh, hindi ko, hindi ko pinapansin itong mga moves na ito eh. Right? But Fen has been giving us a very good signal already. Ito, guys ha, Lagi ko pong nami-miss ito na ngayon kasi ang daming stocks. But if you see this divergence right here, pababa ang presyo. But the RRSI was going up already. Right? That was a buy signal. And then meron tayong support dito, good price action. Sayang, lumipad na si Venma. Na-miss natin. So just wait for the retracement of Venma before you wanna get in. Right? CLI naman. There was a question about CLI. We checked out CLI. Uh, hindi pa pala. Right? CLI. Right? Um, just wait for CLI. Uh, meron itong pattern eh. Uh, One of the patterns, ito. Wait for it to break out this pattern, right? This is a pattern. I just forgot the name of the pattern. Um, I'll try to look for it. Uh, anong pattern ba yan? Uh, is it this one? Ah, uh, here it is. So, I'm gonna show you something. Ayan, if you wanna print screen, please do. That's a flag pattern right there. Paakyat siya, then gumagawa ng flag. And then, that's your buy point pag nag-break out yan. I hope you can see it. Uh, I'm just gonna zoom in. Ito. This is the flag pattern on the upper right. Ito. I mean, upper left. So, a rally. And then, it makes a flag pattern. If it breaks out, that's your entry point. That's what's happening to um, CLI right now. Nag rally, flag pattern. If it breaks out that flag pattern, that is your entry point for CLI. Um, next up naman is SEC. We talked about SEC already. SPC. Ito. SPC Packers. <laughs> SPC Power Corporation. Um, good bounce na si SPC eh. But right now, you're far away from the stabili uh, from the support. So, I cannot recommend this as of the moment. I really want for SPC to make a solid support before I wanna recommend it kasi wala tayong base dyan. Ang hirap mag-base. If you really wanna get in, you can get in this uptrend line. Ang hirap ang uptrend line niya ay plot pay. So, I don't wanna recommend SPC yet. Pero, maganda yun naman yung momentum niya. Ang problema lang, look at the volume. Pababa yung volume. So, I don't really wanna recommend that. Let's wait for it to stabilize lang muna before we really can get in SPC. Next up is AEV. AEV. Yan, si AEV, na-recommend ko na po yan for 2 days and lumilipad na. So, I don't wanna recommend that anymore. Mataas na po. Alright, <laughs> so, huwag nyo na po habulin si AEV. Let's wait for our next entry. Si Food naman, sumasaki siya sa uptrend niya. So, I've been, we've been checking out Food. Sabi ko sa inyo, just follow that uptrend line. And lumilipad na siya ngayon. Kasi nga, the volume is still very hard to pick, to, to read. So, just wait for it to go back near to that uptrend line and mag-bounce. That will be your entry point. Right, let me see if you have any questions. Falling wedge, pwede rin. Uh, flag. Sir, FNI Pasili, please. Sir Lloyd, nag-copy trading ako sa eToro. Auto-buy and sell na yung basta fund. Uh, thanks in advance. Pag nag-copy, yes, auto-buy na yan. Pag bumili siya, pag may fund ka na, and then i-copy trade mo na, um, whatever he buys in the future, I recommend just buying the future trades, not the, the not the open trades lang muna for the, for, for the people you copy. <clears throat> right? Um, falling wedge yata, sir. Uh, flag pattern yon. You can you can consider it falling wedge pero pwede rin naman Pababa, wedge din yun eh diba pag nag break out yun din yun so more, more or less the same but uh, mas clear yung flag pattern na yun uh, very good uh, observation Cecil uh, next up is AEV food Vulcan and so Vulcan uh, Vulcan naman 
it's 9.23, bilisan ko lang ito guys. Uh, Vulcan, uh, I think, ayan, sinasabi ko, wait for the breakout lang kay Vulcan, wala pang breakout eh. So, antay lang tayo ng breakout, that will be a conf con con confirmation of a bullish move pag nag-breakout yan si Vulcan. Sa ngayon, wala pa eh. Si Tugs naman, ayan, nagsistabilize na si Tugs, so that's good for Tugs. Good price action, I don't wanna recommend it yet as of the moment. So, iwas lang muna. Antay natin yung confirmation talaga before we wanna get in tags. Ayan, si Didi has been giving us these uh, signals already. Look at this guys. One, isang divergence para sa'yo. Another divergence here. Dalawang divergence para sa'yo. And there it is. The stabilization, that's a good support. Yes, you can test by Double Dragon. It's been doing good already. Lately, sa mga projects nila, third quarter nga lang, negative 72. Ayan. So, konting yet lang. But this is good price action already for Double Dragon. Uh, I can't recommend it yet just because of this third quarter earnings. Ito lang shaky niya. But the technical analysis of DD has been doing well. Right? So, you can test that out if you want to. JFC naman. Uh, <clears throat> sell half na kay kay JFC muna. Huwag mo nang habulin si JFC because I'm seeing, seeing weakness. B Core. Mm. Last lang ito guys, it's 9.25 and masakit na lalamunan ko. Daldal ko eh. <laughs> it's B-Core. It's already way past rate. Right? Napakataas po ng risk nyo dyan kay B-Core. Huwag nyo na po habulin yan. Grabe na RSI nyan. So, the best entry point for B-Core is this point right here. I will keep discussing this to you guys hanggang sa pumasok yan sa kukote ninyo itong technical na is analysis na ito. Right? Sideways, pababa yung presyo. RSI is going up. That's a divergence. That's a very good technical analysis technique. You can use that. That was the best entry point. Naiwan na kayo dyan. Huwag nyo na po hahabulin yan. Alright? Alright, so that's it for today. Uh, it's Thursday today. So, okay pa naman ang market. I think the market is gonna be go doing good today. So, you can average down on your blue chip stocks. Right? But then, again, stay light pa rin. Don't put too much money in your stocks yet. Right? So, we're still... Um, kind of shaky naman. Mamaya na, pag second na na higher low, kawala na tayo dyan. Right, so, um, December 29 po, Manila, I'll see you there. Send me a message so that you can send you, I can send you the details. This Sunday, sa, uh, sa Butuan po, if you're near the area, please send me a message. Join po kayo dyan. Sayang po yung opportunity. Then next week, 22 and 23 po, meron po tayo sa uh, online seminar just in case hindi po kayo makakadalo doon you have the option for online that's it for today All right, I'll see you again tomorrow as always let's get rich together have a great day guys bye bye